I watch New York One news in the morning every day, my wife and I, uh, <laughs> and one of the segments is in the papers uh, at 41 minutes. Past after. the hour. Yeah, every morning. <laughs> and so you read, uh, you, you pick highlights from the newspapers, all, all kinds of different papers, and you, you read some of them. And there, there's nothing more fun than to have the full range of New York newspapers from the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times right through to the gossip and the New York Post. Yeah. yeah. And you, you pick and choose what you want. You give some commentary, some color, some mm -hmm. context. So we actually dug into some Marvel Comics archives, picked some headlines and some, some old clips, uh, and wanted to share them with you. If we could have a little Marvel in the papers. Okay. All right. Okay. Are you ready? So yeah, sure. You got the, I got them. Okay. First up. Here's a look at what's in the papers on this Monday, July 1st. It's Canada Day, incidentally. Uh, in the Daily Bugle, Goliath returns to the Avengers. The subheadline says, famed super team trapped outside city during crisis. Ooh, I got chills. I got chills. So good. Uh, also from the Daily Bugle this morning, this is a 1972 Daily Bugle headline. Dr. Octopus captured, master criminal discovered in Westchester hideaway, Spider-Man flees scene. It's a story from the small Hudson town of Ossining, police reporting to a report of uh, noise and property damage. So we, we were talking about this earlier. If Doc Ock wants to get up to Ossining, someone's like, well, yeah, he'd be kind of conspicuous if he's walking all the way. I'm like, there's no way he's walking all the way up to Ossining. He's gonna get in a van, but that, that travel, like, I, I'm curious, well, like how they report on this and how they there's get. There's like to a 402 people. from uh, Grand Central on Metro North. Boom! You grab that train. The, the arms are in the back. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's the noise they make, right? Yep, that's exactly yeah. it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, here's another of our headlines on this uh, this Monday afternoon. It's an editorial, a front page editorial from J. Jonah Jameson, in the Daily Bugle. Publisher calls Galactus hoax. Oh wow. Ooh, so yeah. Galactus, wow. the world devourer comes to Earth. Yeah. And he's a giant man with a tiny beautiful little skirt. He's doing his thing, he wants to eat the planet. What What is the course of events for you and the New York One team when you hear that a giant purple being has come to Earth? Get a live truck as close to the giant purple being as possible. Yeah, that, that's Newsman. Newsman right there. gets in there. Now, is it Newsman, or do you send like a Roger Clark to just like throw his life right in the thick of things? Uh, whatever, whatever I would ask Roger to do, I would do myself. Oh, look! Oh man, yeah. Newsman is full that, of. Integrity. That was a trick. That was a trick question, I think. <laughs> uh, also from the Daily Bugle this morning: Four wounded in Stark Riot. A 1972 headline from Iron Man 45. Iron Man and guardsmen lash out at student demonstrators. This happened at the Long Island plant of Stark Industries. A clash erupted between student protesters and the Avenger called Iron Man. There's a lot going on in that there one too. There, there, like, there what do you is. do when your hero just goes off the rails? Yeah, and the kids, the safety of everybody there. And then you, you know that your hero has actually gone off the rails or is there a broader plot at work? Yeah. This is this you know this would be incumbent upon us to to not only investigate the appearance of the story but also whether the facts were as they appeared. Yeah, sure. uh, that that I feel like will be a story you're going over for days <laughs> right. on days because there's just going to be so much coming to light. Right. Yeah, I love Absolutely. it. All right, so this last one is okay. extremely emotional. Okay. So. Oh. Yeah. Got your camera. Got your right camera right there. there. Okay. Uh, this just in. Norman Osborn is dead. Norman Osborn's body found uh, in the chemical industry mogul's warehouse under mysterious circumstances. Spider-Man and Green Goblin were involved. It, it says Norman Osborn, the corporate leader, dead uh, at the age of mumble mumble. <laughs> that is a, that's a ripe and, old age. And it says it's probably Spider-Man's fault. Well, potentially true. I can imagine what that's like to get something that is breaking news that would have to just blow up everything else that's going on. No, that would, that would be the sort of headline that now blew out the programming, blew out the commercials.